आई यूज टू वंडर की इतना लोग हंस क्यों रहे मैं कोई स्टैंड अप कर रही हूँ क्या कर रही हूँ So here with me today is uh, Sona Mohapatra, the singer, and she has a documentary releasing very soon on July first, which is called "Shut Up, Sona." It's a very interesting title. What I want to know is who gave the title for this documentary? Was it you? Was it your husband? Was it somebody else? Why my husband? My film was made with my sister in arms, Deepthi Gupta. But hmm. to be uh, to give credit where it's due, it's uh, it's I think something just came about very organically, hmm. uh, and uh, it was initially called Lal Pari Mastani uh, because we were pursuing the spirit of red and that's a moniker that my fans know me, the music lovers that I have on my pages know me by for more than a decade and a half, right. and we were going to explore the music of our land, my inspirations, the spirit of red, and rebellion. and uh, then it seemed shut up sona seemed no appropriate so it just happened you know because i hear this very often especially online ki are chup kar aur gana ga yaar itna kya bakbak karti hai why are you giving us so much opinions and whatever else so we thought it was a tongue in cheek uh, ironical way of making uh, i mean getting people to know that this is what i hear very often but i'm not shutting up anytime soon so the film of course is uh also a musical because music is at the heart of everything i do i'm a musician i'm very proud of it but also my fun life full of conflicts because i'm constantly receiving all kinds of extreme threats and what not and yet continue to travel with my band and playing big lovely stages so it's a love letter to a country that is uncomfortable with my voice sometimes at least it is so it's pretty much that says yeah. it all and i was i was seeing the trailer uh, seeing the trailer and reading about it also you also address uh, you know the different roadblocks with you and basically women face uh, in the industry and even otherwise which is something which you've been speaking up about on twitter also but how can let us say if we take bollywood or the cultural space how does an artist overcome that really because i mean we have spoken about that there is a problem is there any way where you can identify that there's a way of overcoming it also well making this film is an act of exactly what we should be doing i think more women have to uh, own their own narratives uh, not wait around being the pretty faces looking for others to give them opportunities we need many more writers creators people turning producers music composers lyricists and that's happening but still too few for my liking i think uh, there are uh you know it is a boys club it, it the power structure is definitely i mean men are just comfortable with each other it just naturally so happens but it's time to make some bit of a sisterhood also happen and this film was a call out to that sisterhood saying let's own our own narrative i felt pushed to the corner saying i'm not getting the kind of uh opportunities in the workspace that i deserve to i mean i'm touring a lot but i should be singing many more songs i should be you know and it should be acceptable to have a personality like me which is not somebody who is just towing the line or you know when you have men like that it's a leader but when it's a woman it's like not very pleasant to have a woman like me around or so i'm told in many different spaces so it was about making my own space saying main apna film banau uh who's going to stop me from singing or telling my story if i make it myself and that's easier said than done because now that we have won all these big festivals won a national award and we found an ally in a homegrown brand like z5 i feel my god no greater validation that we are going to put out this film to the audience that i want to play to not preaching to the converted winning all those festival laurels was lovely but actually being able to show the film to india is what makes me feel that i am legit i am telling a story and it's not a home video that i'm making that many people thought maha miss mahapatra is bonkers वो कुछ ना कुछ अपना करती रहती है कुछ बना रही है अपने दोस्त के साथ सो दीप्ति एंड मी हैव बीन फ्रेंड्स फॉर ट्वेंटी इयर्स शी इज अ डायरेक्टर ऑफ दिस फिल्म शी डिड डायरेक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ माय इनिशियल वीडियोस म्यूजिक वीडियोस एंड शी इज अ सिनेमाटोग्राफर बेसिकली एंड वी डिसाइडेड टू से दैट वी वांट टू टेल दिस स्टोरी व्हिच इज आवर लव फॉर आवर लैंड द पीपल द म्यूजिक कबीर खुसरो मीरा एंड इट्स सो हैपन दैट देयर वाज सो मेनी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स हैपनिंग इन माय लाइफ एट दैट टाइम that in fact to give credit to my husband as you mentioned in the start of it 
uh, Ram Sampath, my partner, I call him, uh, was like, your life is full of masala, man. Why isn't your film capturing that? There's so much of fun. Happen- it's not fun when it's happening, you know, getting death threats and running around police stations. It's mm. not fun. But I just feel artists across the uh, globe and across the centuries who have truly inspired me are the ones who have affected uh, society, not only with the beautiful creations of their music or songs, they have in different ways affected change. You know, they've made, they've left a better place than when they started. So I I wanted to tell the story of what, why Meera Bai means so much to me, you know, uh, why I see her as a guiding light in terms of being a rebel rock star superstar who was singing and dancing in the streets of a state where even now women are expected to cover up and, you know, uh, toe the line in terms of uh, what is considered a chaste life. So uh, Meera by 400 years ago was singing and writing songs and she was a rebel. She was talking about loving another man despite being married. She was talking against Sati. She was writing sensual poetry. And our society is always very uncomfortable with women expressing sensuality or sexuality in any case. And that is true to this date, you know, I'm, and I'm an artist who is engaged with the environment, the socio-economic environment around me or whatever you call it. I don't know if it's economic, but definitely the social environment. So it, it, it turned out to be a, a gender political story also, apart from being a musical. Uh, having said that, I am putting out a lot of beautiful music videos and songs from the film. And I like to think it is India's first uh, music mentry. Uh, so that's just a name I came up with. <laughs> it's a documentary feature. And uh, there have been some publications who are referring to my acting debut. I'm like, I'm not acting. It's me, real me being captured. 300 <laughs> hours of footage. <laughs> Culled into, uh, you know. But the pandemic, I think, has opened up the content space also. And it's very interesting that... Um, people some of the most interesting web series and films that have come out are uh, documentaries and very different real storytelling and i think india is ready for shut up sona now the time when i started making it uh, we had no backing nobody understanding what the hell we were up to saying ki yahan pe fiction song and dance logon ko samajhta hai ye acting kar rahe ho but uh, a documentary can also be super fun uh, it's not necessarily rookhi roti Krishi Darshan that you get to see because that's also the impression Indians have about documentaries. This has evoked a lot of laughter, a lot of tears and a lot of extreme emotions in the theatricals that we've had, more than 20 of them around the world. So I used to wonder, why are so many people laughing? Am I stand up? Kar Kya kar but uh, I mean, I, I also feel it's a validation of the fact that it's very raw and unfiltered. It's what's and all you know you see me in extremely uh, unflattering spaces also but i think i think india is ready for it so i'm very excited that first of july india gets to see it and so the i think it's across 190 countries if i'm not wrong in the zine uh, five network so i think the whole world gets to see it it's, it's a digital premiere so to say you also think that you know this is a uh... I mean, a big opportunity and also in a good way to for people to see you, I mean, in your documentary outside the Twitter space, because normally a lot of people might associate it with you, with your tweets. You know, maybe there's some controversy. Just you. <laughs> no, no, not Few me. of you. Very few of you, because I have a very, uh, on a good concert season, I do more than 60 shows in eight months. And I'm on the stage performing to over 100,000 people on an average uh, when it comes to those public shows. So my real audience is actually music lovers and I get to be not, there. Not I'm the ones traveling. on Twitter who are trolling you and uh, who are passing the convention <laughs> all of that stuff. I have so many people coming in. You're not like your Twitter. I said, but I'm yeah. more than 140 characters. Of course, I'm not like my Twitter. Yeah. And that uh, I'm very grateful even for Twitter, which has amplified a lot of very significant issues that I've spoken upon. So many other people get to engage with you. They teach you a few things and they also harass you. But it's not just trolling. Twitter has that, some very, very nice caption. You should Thanks. use that caption. They teach you a lot of things, but they also harass you somehow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you could. But uh, I just think uh, 99% of my life is outside of Twitter and it's a real one. I'm creating every day. I'm singing. I'm making content. I'm, I mean, I'm running a team. 
आई हैव अ बैंड वी हैव टू रिहर्स एंडलेसली बिकॉज इट्स अ लाइव बैंड ये नहीं कि वहाँ पे बेसुरा गालो और निकल जाएगा लाइव परफॉर्मेंस में वे आई डोंट सिंग टू अ ट्रैक आई डोंट लिप सिंग सो इट्स अ ट्रू कमिटमेंट ऑफ बींग सर्टन म्यूजिशियन ऑल्सो आई बिलोंग टू अ कल्चर ऑफ म्यूजिक वेयर इट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सिंगिंग फॉर्म्स इंडियन इंटोनेशन इज हिंदुस्तानी माइन इज हिंदुस्तानी क्लासिकल बेस्ड सो इवन आर फिल्म सॉन्ग्स आर एक्चुअली fairly complex uh, songs and i feel very proud of being a culture which is like no other part of the world it's time for india to have its own touring circuit uh, to understand that uh, our music stars are truly stars in their own right they don't have to be subsets of uh, you know film stars or actors uh, i have always wanted to be the voice and the face facing my audience i have never aspired to just be the voice that somebody else is lip syncing to that's only in our country where some other actor is singing in my voice i found that kind of strange actually so uh, i'm you know in many ways it would seem i'm saying something contradictory this is unique we have a song and dance filmy culture but i think when it comes to music we need to have a music industry to start with which we don't we've largely been a subset of the film industry so the fact that now india is opening up to a lot more independent of uh, music and voices and pop music it makes me very happy and i've been part of this change i've been consistently putting out music of my own for the last decade and a half not just counting on film songs to get my right. audience you right. know right. Yeah. so i think it was a natural progression that i would make a film and it started with shut up sona it so happened it's a, a documentary i don't know what i'm going to do next i might i might you know i i, I shut up sona book part <laughs> please sing sona is part 2 not shut up sona part 2 next one is going to be please sing sona don't shut up okay that that's a more more pleasing sort of sounding title now i would actually uh, love to talk to you about a lot of other things i've got see for other talking points over here but unfortunately zoom is giving me a notification that if i don't stop this video interview right now it's not going to be safe but anyways all the best uh, for the so future much. all the best for your documentary which is coming up and uh, we'll be following your uh, twitter conversations uh, also which in the future yeah take care thank you yeah okay bye bye